Hey, what's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Now it's popping off with everybody out there in YouTube land. I know Uncle Nick's a little toddy to the body, but I hope y'all motherfuckers are feeling stupendous, not stupid, on this Saturday morning. I hope everyone's feeling fantastic. I hope everyone's feeling like a million bucks. Bucks, you know what I'm saying? I hope you're feeling like you're all that with the bag of chips and the dip. You know what I'm saying? Stop fucking playing with me. Now your man Puffy is out here on some Ike Turner shit. This nigga thinks he's Iceberg Slim. This motherfucker's definitely got static in the attic. His elevator doesn't go to the top. We might have to send this motherfucker to the moon, son. Bad news bears, good night, Irene. And all that fly shit, dogs. I can't believe what I saw on this motherfucker fucking tape. I was like, what the rise is going on right here? You know what I'm saying? Blood clot, blood cleat, blood fire. Rise clot, rise cleat. You know what I'm saying? All the cleats in the clots. I was like, God damn, this is a low down crazy motherfucker. This shit is horrible right here. This is disturbing. You know what I'm saying? And he can't dispute it at this point because they got the footage. They put it out there. You was violating Cassia. You a low down dirty scoundrel, son. But now they're alleging that this motherfucker went and paid $50,000 for the security footage. But somehow, many years later, this shit is up on the silver screen right now, which we call YouTube. You know what I'm saying? This shit is out there in the forefront. You know what I mean? But anyhow, let's get into all this shit. Let's dissect it. Let's break it down. And I actually have my own personal story about a little run-in with bad boy, daddy's house, his security, and all types of weird shit they were doing up there. You know, I try to give Puff the benefit of the doubt. You're innocent until you're proven guilty. That's the way this shit works. You know what I'm saying? You gotta respect the overs and the unders, but I can't front. Deep down inside, in the back of my mind, I knew that motherfucker was strange. You know what I'm saying? To say the least. You know what I mean? But we're gonna get into that, then we're gonna get into this, and we're gonna break it all down, son. Let's fucking go. You're gonna show us the video, but first. Give us some context on what we're about to see. This is incredibly disturbing footage, so I do want to warn our viewers, as you did, the surveillance video obtained by CNN begins as she enters the hallway. The complaint says, as she exited, Mr. Combs awoke and began screaming at Miss Ventura. He followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her. The complaint goes on to say, he grabbed her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her. Sean Diddy Combs allegedly paid $50,000 to obtain hotel security footage of Cassie assault. Lawsuit. Cassie's lawsuit filed in November claimed that Combs paid the Intercontinental Hotel $50,000 for the hallway security footage that surfaced on uh, May 17th. In another statement also shared with people, uh, IHG Hotels responded to the newly surfaced footage stating the hotel is no longer under IHG management. We do not have any access to prior incident records or footage. A lot of people, you know, may not know that the statute of limitations has run out for him to face charges in California. So please explain that to us, the fact that he won't be charged um, for this. Yeah, unfortunately, there are statutes of limitations that dictate when federal or state prosecutors can file charges uh, for this kind of conduct that we witnessed. So now it appears that anybody that was supporting Puff or had any doubt in their mind, all that shit is out the window, son. Niggas is going to turn their back on your ass. You know what I'm saying? Because this is undisputed proof right here. Your reign on the top about to be short like leprechauns, nigga. They about to get your ass the fuck up out of here. You know what I'm saying? It's saying that he allegedly paid $50,000 to somebody, you know what I'm saying? Evidently, they don't give a fuck about Puff's money anymore. All money ain't good money at the end of the day, and they like your briberies. Fuck all that, son. We taking you down, nigga. They got the footage of him. Evidently, that's just to smear him in public, make him look like a piece of shit, you know what I'm saying? The doctor John Crow that he is, you know what I'm saying? Woman beater. I turn a 2.0 type nigga, you know what I'm saying? And then at the end of the day, he still got to deal with all these fucking lawsuits. He's not going to be charged for what we saw on the tape, but at the end of the day, he's got mounting legal issues that are going to pop. 
fault. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I can say about that. I'll keep everybody updated and break it all down as new information presents itself. But I want to get into something else real quick. Because I remember once upon a time, you know what I'm saying? Uncle Nick was a punk-ass messenger delivering weed and all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's another story. But anyhow, I had this job and I used to deliver these dats. Motherfucking old school niggas that mix music, this and that. They know what I'm talking about. You little young fucking SoundCloud upload ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? Microwave music making motherfuckers. You won't know nothing about that. But anyhow... I had to run down and pick up this dat from this spot called Sterling Sound over there at Chelsea Market. I don't know if they still around. But Uncle Nick, lo and behold, had to deliver this shit to Bad Boy, a.k.a. Daddy's house, and that shit went left real quick. Uncle Nick wasn't having it. I had to pull the box cut out like Nicole, you about the motherfucker feel the pain, huh? You know what I'm saying? Allegedly, you know what I'm saying? I walked up in the spot, dudes was acting weird and shit. Told me that I gotta say Daddy's house. I looked around, I saw some little champagne, some strawberries, some of this, and I was like, oh hell no, nigga. And then shit hit the fan, you know what I'm saying? So there's a lot to fucking break down. I don't want to jam it all into this motherfucking video. So I'm going to go live tonight with my dogs, the Super Trife Low Lives, motherfucking The Session TV, and we going to talk about this shit, because it got ill, I seen some things that look weird, and I wasn't saying no motherfucking daddy's house, nigga, I ain't down with this psychological manipulation, I ain't going to no party room, no freak room, I don't want to record no music, Uncle Nigga ain't trying to be a rapper, nigga! I was trying to get the fuck up out of there. But anyhow, um, tune in tonight, 8 o'clock. We're going to be breaking all that shit down. You know what I'm saying? And other than that, man, y'all be safe, be cool, be easy. Don't do anything stupid on the fucking internet or in these goddamn streets. And I'll see y'all motherfuckers soon.